Hey, this video is from InfoSpike and I'm creating this to help you generate thumbnail images for YouTube or images for blog posts, anything that you can use with your creative mind. You can change your words into images using artificial intelligence. I'm here at designer.microsoft.com where you can generate your designs and edit text. But if you need something very basic, you can go to Bing and then you can go to images. And then on the top right, you can see that there's something called image creator. This is something that uses Dolly. If you've ever heard of a chat GPT or open AI, this is one of the tools that is integrated into Microsoft to help you generate images using artificial intelligence. And it is something that you could find whether you're using Microsoft Edge, you're using Bing or even Designer, they have this integrated into those platforms. Here's an example. I'm gonna type in, give me a hybrid of a penguin and a koala. And so within, I would say 10 to 30 seconds, it's going to generate an image for me. Go ahead and wait for that to happen. Here we go. Those look kind of scary, <laughs> but uh, let me see. Um, let me just pick this one. And then I'm gonna click on customize. That will push it into designer.microsoft.com. You can use this designer tool from the very beginning, but I'm just showing you that that's one way to do it. Or if you are in designer, you can click on generate image and then I'll put penguin hybrid with a bear. Let that generate again, 10 to 30 seconds typically. I can create multiple images in this and then create a design, like let's say collage if I wanted to, but let's just go ahead and use two images. From there, I can say, create a YouTube thumbnail about penguin hybrids. I can use the pre-existing images on the right or I could generate more by clicking on this clicking the generate button and so now I have some options and if you didn't notice that the size actually changed and the reason why it changed is because I put create YouTube thumbnail if I put Instagram image, I can do that, or I can manually select the size as you can see here. So let's go ahead and just find something that I could use for a YouTube thumbnail. And here's an easy one and I'll customize this. Okay. And I don't know why this block is there, but I'll take that off. I'll Whatever I select, I can press Control X to delete. That's the way I usually do it. You might be able to use delete on your keyboard as well. And then I'm gonna change this text and I'll put, I'll delete the top two. And then I'll add text here. There's a text option on the left side. Click on that. I'll click on this right here, this diagonal text. The colors are pretty funky, but you'll see what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this, press Control A to select all. So I press Control A, or you can highlight the text you want to change and just put shocking. That is kind of like clickbaity. And I don't like that font, so I'm going to click on this right here to change my font. I'm going to pick something that is, let's see more. I just clicked on this and I am gonna pick friendly fonts here. Let's look for something more friendly. And I'll go ahead and use this bangers font it's used on a lot of thumbnails. Let's click on that. And I just extended this right part here to make it wider. And now I'm gonna change the background. I'll just click on the background and change this color. I'll click on this green color up here on the top center and then click on it again. And then I'm able to change the background. Let me change the background to that. 
let me put something more with a higher contrast. Pick that, or I can pick a new color. I'll click on this plus, and I'll pick this color here, make it pop, and then I'll change the color of the text by selecting it, and I'll just pick white. So if I pick white here, and then I can click this and pick white as well and then I have to select all text if I want to change the color of all text I'll click on white here and then I can pick the alignment and I'll make it center aligned I'll click on it again and there we go of course I can go ahead and change the other colors I can go ahead and change the shapes I can add a shape, like let's say if I go to visuals, go to graphics, go to shapes, I can pick a square and then, oops, move that square and make it kind of somewhat like an abstract design. Put that there, go ahead and rotate it and then click on it, change the position to make it go to the back and then I'll go ahead and change the color as well. Let's go ahead and uh, bring it forward, change the color, and I'll make it black. Okay, so I can go ahead and add more shapes if I wanted to, change design if I wanted to. It kind of makes it more kind of like some kind of abstract design. And then I can click on download. And when I click on download, I can download it to my computer and then upload that to YouTube as a thumbnail. And that's all for this tutorial.